My name is Kristen Sain. I'm 18 years. I'm here to learn about how to overcome FGM and also how to fight against FGM. And after I be I being taught, um, I'll go back to the community and tell them about the dangers of the FGM and how important of educating a girl child is. So you're going to be an ambassador of yes. saying no to FGM. Wow, what people <laughs> We don't do girls alone during this training because the boy has the information and the girl have the same information, it will be easier for them to understand each other. So if you tell them each and every part of their body is important, including what they are cutting, which is the clitoris, and then you incorporate FGM the following day, they will know, oh, yesterday I was told each part is important. So FGM today, I don't want to cut this part. I have first to talk to the Maasai old men. You know, those are the people who are the owners of the community. Those are the people who, when they agree, then that thing is much successful. There are those uh, women called cutters, the one who used to cut uh, uh, that clitoris. And then I call a meeting for them, we discuss with them. I told them the disadvantages of this thing. And even, even them now, they, are, they have already agreed with me and they have seen that this is a disease. mother once dropped out of school because of me. She was in class seven. I'll never want to expect me to undergo the bread and um, do things that destroy my life or destroy my generation or destroy my kids. The fight against FGM is on. Lazima tupate Miss A R P. Are you ready? Wapinduru yake. Wapinduru. If you were the president, what would you do about it? Uh, FGM. First of all, for those who are encouraging FGM, they are they should they are supposed to check it, to be taken to, to be taken to jail and uh, also be uh, an example to others. <laughs> How can we going to continue with that culture? By overcoming the primitive thing that has passed away. Mm -hmm.